Hey guys, and welcome to Fandom Across the States, a channel that's updated mostly weekly with content regarding all things nerdy. He will talk about everything from Marvel to Supernatural, Star Trek to Star Wars. We'll also talk about the classics like Harry Potter, but we'll also get into the newer fandoms like Amazon The Boys. So this video is just about you guys learning about me and Alicia. My name's Alicia and I'm from Texas. My name's Katie, I'm from Ohio. Here on this channel, you guys will see things such as vlogs from the different conventions we go to, which we go to a lot, which is kind of financially irresponsible, but it's also a lot of fun. Um, videos like this, like what you're watching now, us just talking about um, different fandoms or um, different things within fandoms, going to conventions, Right now, my favorite fandoms would be Supernatural, um, Marvel, and uh, the Wizarding World, probably with the Harry Potter and uh, Fantastic Beasts. Um, so those are my top three favorites right now. Marvel, Supernatural, and my third one fluctuates. It basically changes every week. Right now, I'd probably say it's The Boys from uh, the Amazon show. If anybody wants to talk about The Boys, please come at me because I need somebody to freak out about with the show with because it feels like not many people have watched it yet and I'm just like, Carl Urban, get with the picture. He's in like all the big fandoms. That means you guys should watch it. Um, Endings are hard no matter what, so I always have a tough time saying this is my favorite ending because the ending of anything that I enjoyed, I didn't want it to end, so I was really, it was tough for me to pick a favorite in general. Um, but I would have to say Lord of the Rings. I really enjoyed the entire saga. I enjoyed The Hobbit that came after it, um, which is technically happened before it, but the movie came after. <laughs> Um, but I really did enjoy the ending of Lord of the Rings. I thought that it was a well-rounded ending. Favorite fandom ending would be the Marvel saga that just completed phase four that just ended. Um, I don't know how they like managed to make those 22 movies all wrap up into one, but they did an awesome job. I absolutely loved it. I cried a lot during Endgame. I would probably have to say Dexter. Dexter did me wrong. I feel like it did a lot of us wrong. There was six seasons, five seasons, and then they end it like that. Um, my least favorite is, is actually a book series um, that was turned into a movie adaptation, but I don't think, if, if I remember correctly, they didn't even finish the filming of, they didn't even finish the last movie from that book series. It's Divergent. Um, and I hated the way the movies kind of went so far off track from the books. So I didn't really get too involved in the movies. Um, I loved the actors and actresses that played the characters, but the script or the screenwriters just kind of veered so far away from, from what I knew and loved about the book. Um, but the book itself, I didn't like the ending. I was really upset with the ending. It's tough for me to say because back then I didn't really think um, that I was really talking about fandoms. I didn't really consider it being a, any fandom, um, but I guess Disney would probably be my first. Um, I watched all the Disney films, I watched the Disney TV shows, um, and another one maybe Friends um, because I really, I really loved that show. I would sit there with my family every week and we would watch um, friends. NCIS. Um, I watched NCIS with my dad growing up. I started by, God, there's 16 or 17 seasons of it now, so I was like 10 or something. 10? Yeah, I was 10 when it started, I think. And so every Tuesday night, me and my dad would sit there and watch it from season one. Still love that show. My cat is named Tony from t after Tony Dinozo. Like, NCIS was my jam. Um, the first fandom that I really got involved with was Supernatural. That's the first one where I kind of, I started going to conventions, I met a lot of people through it, I was active on Tumblr with it, I just met a lot of people and it kind of showed me what a being super involved in a fandom can be like. And so that fandom kind of led me to be more into the Marvel fandom, which has meant, made me new friends. Being part of the Supernatural fandom though, that 
really, really changed my life. Uh, through that, I started watching Supernatural when I was going through a really crappy time. I feel like a lot of people started watching Supernatural when they were going through a crappy time, and it just sort of helped them get through that crappy time. And so I watched it, and then I started going to conventions. I got involved with I'm Alive, and then I started going to the conventions with I'm Alive and working with I'm Alive. And through that, I met even more people, and then I got a job, like, I was able to use the skills that I learned at I'm Alive, and it, I got a real-life job with it, and then that led me to the job I have now, which I absolutely love, and that job, then I can make, I make a decent amount of money, so I can go to all these conventions and blow all my money on these conventions, so, uh, in the end, fandom has made me broke, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, we met through the Supernatural fandom at a convention in Las Vegas and we have um, since become really close and it seemed like every time we were talking we were talking about a fandom one of the fandoms that we're involved with whether it's the boys which Katie is really obsessed with the boys right now I was really obsessed with good omens um, fandoms in general changed my life but uh, that was the one the first one that I got really involved with and the first one where I made um, I feel like I came out of my shell um, with that fandom. And I think a lot of people can relate to that because you f it seems like you find the people that you can relate to. Um, when you're at conventions or when you're talking to people online or when you are um, reading fan fiction or writing fan fiction, um, you find people who are interested in the same things and you know these are my people. And that's kind of how I feel when I'm at conventions. That's why I go to so many conventions and why I enjoy it so much. If you guys have any questions for me, if you have any questions for Alicia, comment down below those questions. Also, if you guys have any ideas for future videos you want us to talk about, comment down below. Um, also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell so that you get notifications whenever we post new content. And thank you so much for tuning in and hope to see you in the future. Bye.